What's going on, you guys? Tyler, your wandering therapist here. Just wanted to pause for a minute on my morning walk with my dog and share a few sentiments, a thought, and maybe a story that happened this week on a principle of wholehearted living that really matters when it comes to increasing the quality of life and and finding more peace and satisfaction in the day-to-day things that go on in our lives. We uh, had some friends from out of town stop in on us kind of out of the blue this week and they had driven up from, they live in North Dakota, but they had driven up from Provo, Utah, which is two hours away from where I live right now. And when they came into town and sat down, we went out to dinner and we were just sitting and visiting. They were mentioning how beautiful the valley that we live in is and how stunning the mountains were and how impressive it was that we lived so close to such a beautiful place with all of these amazing mountains. And you can kind of see behind me, this is, part of the view of what you see when you come into the valley is just these big mountains with little canyons that run through them and it really is a beautiful place but as as they were talking in my mind I was thinking it's not even beautiful right now this is like the worst time of the year it's like brown and and dense and not very colorful compared to the springtime and the snow's all melted off so you don't get the white caps on the top and I was sitting there inside my own head criticizing the place that I live because it's not what it could be or should be at other times of the year. And after that, I was thinking a little bit about how that sort of translates into my own life sometimes, where I, I have all sorts of amazing things in my life. People who support me, a family who loves me. I have religious beliefs that provide me with a sense of peace and strength and calm. I I have a great way to make a living for myself financially and provide for my family. I could list off a thousand different things that are just amazing things in my life. And yet, how often do I actually pause and experience gratitude for those things? And how often do I even take it a step further and find myself wishing and wanting for something more than what I have to the point that I'm criticizing the very blessings that I have in my own life. And what does it do to my life when I find myself in those places? And and what I found in this little instance was that I was actually missing out on opportunities for joy. I was missing out on opportunities for connection with our friends. I was missing out on opportunities to see the beauty that actually is surrounding me all of the time. And So I just thought, you know what, maybe I need to do a better job of stopping to pause and take the day-to-day, everyday things that might be sitting right in front of me and see if I could be grateful for them or find ways to be grateful for them. And so that's my challenge to you guys today is to take an inventory of the things in your own life that might be real blessings that just get passed up every single day. And if we pause, maybe do a gratitude journal of writing some things down that we're grateful for or pause for five minutes to just meditate on what a blessing some of these things are, we can instantly increase the quality of our lives. We can have moments of joy. We can have extra happiness and more peace in our lives. And it's also a grounding thing that helps bring us back into the the center of things when we live in a world that feels crazy and unstable sometimes. Gratitude can be a way of really putting things back in place. So... Hopefully that's helpful for you guys today. Pause for a moment, think of the normal things in your life, and experience for just a moment what a miracle they really are and how amazing your life is despite all of the challenges and struggles you might be facing. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you found this to be valuable for you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're facing particular struggles that you need help with or roadblocks that you're running into, Please submit a question, I'd be happy to answer it for you.